Welcome back to another edition of Comeback Corner, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont, and boy, do I have something I want to talk about. But thank you all for subscribing and continuing to follow our channel. We greatly appreciate it. Keep, keep uh, subscribing, share, like, comment, hit that bell so you get all the up-to-minute updates. UFC announced a fight card in Utah. It's UFC 307. I am flabbergasted by what they decided. They announced today that Alex Pereira is defending his belt against Khalil Roundtree at UFC 307 on October 5th in Salt Lake City. What? The fuck? What? I get it. Alex Pereira has saved the last two cards he's been on. Seems like he has to save another one. But this time they're feeding him lunch. (laughs) Because this fight's not going to last three minutes. This is going to look like the the ass kicking he gave Jamal Hill. I get it. Khalil Roundtree. He's tough, throws heavy, strong, physical. He has no chance in hell of winning this fight. I am curious to see what the odds will be made on this fight. If it's anything less than minus 800 for Pereira, I would be sh- I'd be shocked. I'd be absolutely shocked. I, I'm flabbergasted by this decision. This Khalil Roundtree failed a drug test before his fight with Jamal Hill. Come pulls off is pulled off the card. He failed a drug test, suspended for two months. I don't care if it was a tainted supplement. I'm so sick of hearing professional athletes complain about tainted supplements. Guess what? You know how you don't have issues with, with tainted supplements? You don't take supplements. And I know that sounds stupid. Or you only take supplements provided by the UFC that have been checked. Otherwise, don't touch a supplement. You have no one to blame but yourself. But the man gets suspended. He falls off the fight. That was the International Fight Week card. Falls off the fight. Gets suspended for two months. And gets a fucking title shot? You can't be serious. Jamal Hill tweeted about this, and I actually agree with him. And Jamal Hill has proven to be a massive crybaby with lots of damn excuses for why he lost. But how in the hell are you giving this man a title shot after pissing dirty? What are we doing here? If anything, give Jamal Hill a rematch. Give him a rematch. Because Khalil Roundtree? Does not deserve this title shot. Khalil Roundtree hasn't beaten anybody to deserve it. He's ranked eighth. We got Magomed Ankalaev fighting in, uh, I think it's in um, Abu Dhabi in September. And we're not, he's clearly who should be fighting for the, the, the belt if you're really going to be honest at this point. Even though I think he marginally deserves it because the fight that he didn't have a decision on versus John Blakovich. Did they have a rematch on that fight? I don't even remember. I don't think they actually rematched that fight. Let me check real fast. And I could be wrong, but I'm gonna comp- I'm gonna confirm it. Yeah, it's in Abu Dhabi. It's October 26th. He's fighting Alexander Rakic, who j- who's coming off of a loss. He beat Johnny Walker. He had that that no contest with Johnny Walker. Yeah, he never rematched with John Blakovich. He never rematched Blakovich. That should have been a rematch, if anything, if you really want to say, okay, he, he he hasn't earned it yet. But Khalil Rountree ain't earned shit. He ain't earned anything. I do not see how in the world the UFC thought this made sense. I, I don't get it. I do not get it at all. I don't get it. It's crazy to me to see this fight made. Now, the card 
It's like they needed to put Pereira on here and have him fight somebody, but Khalil Roundtree hasn't been a soul. His his best his best win is Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith, I love Anthony Smith. He's washed. He's washed out. Doesn't have a real big time win. Anthony Smith is not the same guy he used to be. I love Anthony Smith, but Anthony Smith I would like to see retire. I don't want to see him get hurt anymore or hit anymore because, I mean, he just lost to Roman Delizze, who's a middleweight. Like, enough already. And now is fighting Kevin Holland. That's crazy in itself. And he's fighting Kevin Holland uh, on this same card. <laughs> like, with, with, with uh, Pereira and Roundtree. Now, you do have the co-main event. The co-main event is Raquel Pennington and Juliana Pena. That fight's going to happen finally. Hopefully, Pena doesn't get hurt again because she's always getting hurt for some reason. I think Pena's going to win enough. I think Pena's going to win that fight easily. Um, never been impressed by Raquel Pennington. She's uh, she's a belt holder right now. She's not a she's not a champion. She's a belt holder. She's holding she's holding a belt that Amanda Nunes gave up. Realistically, we should have. I, I would have loved to have seen the Pena Nunes three um, before Nunes called it a day, but we didn't. And at the end of the day, they, it never happened. Now you have Pennington as a champion, and she's fighting Pena. I think Pena's going to win this fight. Steven Thompson and Joaquin Buckley, that's fun. I enjoy it. I love Steven Thompson. Joaquin Buckley's a great, he's a fun dude to watch. Um, that's, that's gonna be, that could be fireworks. Jose Aldo, Mario Bautista at Bantamweight. I thought, I mean, Aldo's a trip. This guy retired, and now he's going to continue fighting. Amy comes back. These guys never retire. But then you got Roman Delizze, Kevin Holland. Like, I don't understand this fight at all. Delizze just won a fight at 205, and he's going back to middleweight. I don't get that. You just beat a top 10 guy at 205 when you're going to go back to middleweight? I don't really understand that decision. Aljamain Sterling versus Mozart Evlo. That's a humongous fight at featherweight. A huge fight at featherweight. And then Kevin Vieira and Kayla Harrison. It's a big-time fight. Big fight, big fight for Harris, and a real test this time. I mean, because Vieira's better than Holly Holm, um, in my opinion. I think she's better than Holly Holm. Uh, but I am, and I know, you know, she beat Holly, Holly Holm by split decision. I think she's better than Holly Holm. Harrison dominated Holm. Um, Holm, is, Holm is washed out. She, you know, I don't know, man. I, I The card looks like a, it's a good card, but... I, Overall, this 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 Pereira thing is is crazy. Pereira could win the fight in three minutes and then be ready to fight in a couple of weeks, <laughs> in a month or a month when they go to New York as a fill-in because John Jones. Who the hell knows if John Jones and Steve will make that walk? You never know. You never know at all. But I'm I'm flabbergasted by this decision. I cannot believe they're running. I get it. You you don't want to main event the fight with main event the card with uh, Pennington and Pena because it's boring, but um, and it doesn't sell. Pereira sells, but they fed him lunch. <laughs> they did him a solid now and fed him lunch. Now, that fight goes more than three minutes, I will be flabbergasted. But let me know your thoughts on that fight setup, because I, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, let me know what you think. I would rather him see, if I have him see, see him fight Mag- Magum by Ankolaev, um, but we're not going to see that right now. Uh, I guess we can wait till next year, or who knows, in December, when he saves another card. Let me know your thoughts, comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and ring that bell. Come on now.